I need to get the index size, index value. So the index is going to tell us where it, where the actual position is. So to get that, I think I just call open positions. So I do n2, n2 dot open positions, and then I pass in the symbol. I can't type today. And does this print anything? I don't think it does, but we can print something. Open positions equals that. Info. And then the active symbol list is one. Or it's zero. Active symbol list equals open positions. And again, I'm I've got all this, what's this what this is pulling from on the other video. Zero. So let's print active symbols list. See what happens here. Okay, these are all our active symbols that are connected to not we don't necessarily we're not necessarily running any bot on these, but these are our active positions in Femex, meaning these are the positions that we can kind of trade. Well, without reactivating them. And then this would be. Let's go ahead and mark this out. This is a list of all symbols. And then this would be. data frame and then we can print active symbol data frame just like that this is what we really need because this will show us exactly what positions have which index so the reason we need the index is for all of our future things we deploy on this bot like hey we want the index position for IMX or KSM well it's right there so I'm glad we have that and that took me a really really long time to figure out but we figured it out and then I want to do something like this I need to get the symbol index so still getting the index how are we gonna do that we're gonna do open position equals index or what do we call this active DF dot location LOC and then this would be in again active position DF where the symbol because we want we want to get the index position for the symbol and I don't know it so it's symbol and then let's break this up for you. And then we want to have it say where the, well, I guess this will be, give us the open position if we have an open position or not, which is good. Open bool dot I lock zero. So that's going to give us, this is going to tell us if we have open position or not. Now this next thing we're going to do is going to tell us the size of that position, or if we're long or short. Long equals index position. Uh, sorry, it's active symbol DF. It's this same thing, pretty much. So I'm just going to copy that because I'm a lazy, lazy guy. Symbol equals symbol. And then we want, instead of open bool, we want where it says long. It will tell us if it's long or not. And then this last one is we want the kill size. And this is essentially the size of the open position. So let's call this uh, kill size. Let's just call it size. And then we will call, let's call this open size because I already have a size. And we'll call this open or we won't call this we'll activate it like that open size 
okay and then open size let's just make sure that it's an integer I think sometimes they come back as strings so let's just make it an integer okay perfect now we need to just figure out what the number is and when I say number I mean like what is the index if I print this one more time I'll show you what I'm looking for index position this is what I'm looking for so I'm looking for this number here so to get that let's just go ahead and say index position index position equals and then we'll just do this same thing one more time because we're essentially looking into this data frame right and we're saying hey where the symbol equals our symbol and our symbols up there I want to find whatever this column says so I want index position and now what I'm gonna do just to stress test this to make sure it all works well I'm gonna say print I want all of this information so let's do open position whatever that is let's do long let's do open size index position so now instead of the data frame I'm gonna pause that now I should just get the information I need and we need this information very badly so false 0 and 16 so it's saying we don't have an open position long is false and open size is 0 and index position is 16 that's perfect right because now we have all the information we need in order to keep moving so let's go ahead and just mark this out for now <clears throat> now we want to find the trend I'm just gonna code this because well I'm actually going to copy and paste some code actually you know what I don't think I need to copy paste code watch this I think I, I we built this already I've been working on some other stuff like some really really cool things but I forgot how much we worked the work we did together here and we built so many great things that you know like some that's what I love about coding is you can always learn more and try new things and sometimes when you look back at it part of the reason I make these videos but sometimes you look back and you're like whoa I already did all of this so that's why I just love putting these videos up because now not only am I helping myself because I have all of these files and all of this code that we've built together and I can just keep building my algos. But, you know, if you watch along, you subscribe and, you know, you like the video so you see the next video every time. Well, guess what? You get all, you get all this code too and you can do whatever you please with it. So like I'm killing like not just two birds with one stone, but I'm killing po potentially a b million birds with one stone. I know my videos don't get a ton of views or whatever, but that's all good. But even if it gets 50 views, then I'm killing 50 birds with one stone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what gets me excited about making these videos is that I can actually help you. And like there's been a lot of times where like the other day, I somebody posted something that helped me so much and it's like I really really appreciate you for kicking it here watching these videos because it's accountability for me I make sure make sure that I keep building bots every single day because like I said if I build for every single environment eventually I'm gonna have a I'm gonna be able to put a little machine learning in there and let the machine learning decide like hey what environment should we what what bot should we be running right now we see all these bots we have and let it do its thing. So, killing 50 birds with one stone. If you do appreciate all of this transparency, please do go ahead and just tap that like button. It will ensure that I just keep building for you. And me. Like, I'm not going to cap here. I'm building this for me. <laughs> but that also gives a little more uh, credibility to what, what you're watching, right? Like, I'm not just building this for YouTube. I wouldn't be able to do this for YouTube. I got, I, I got to get to it, man. You know, every single day, no matter what, every single day, building new, new bots. Let's go ahead and get that SMA. And I think all we do is we do n dot, which is getting into our nice functions file that we pulled in right here. 
and dot and we're gonna say df SMA and I want the four hour SMA so I'm gonna pass in symbol I'm gonna pass in the time frame and the time frame we're gonna do four hours I can't remember if it's four H or four H or R I think it's four H R I'm not quite sure limit equals how many bars we want an SMA is the time frame it's four hour SMA is the 15 okay so does this return anything nah let's do this uh, SMA four hour DF equals that and then let's say print SMA four hour DF okay so I hope this works it might not work but that's okay if it doesn't Okay, for our, I, I always do that. Starting Indies, ha, ah, look at that, we got it. So, I should make this bigger so you can actually see the whole data frame and so I can see the whole data frame. <laughs> so we can both see the whole data frame. Because we're doing this together every day, just as long as you do this every day and I do this every day, we're gonna crush it. So the signals sell, that means that the price, the current price, say close for now, it's not the actual, it's the bid, but 19.223 is lower than the four hour SMA, so the signal is sell. So that means that we're opening this short. All right, so I got what we need. Um, Let's just go ahead and say this then, then the, the signal, signal equals SMA four hour. I'm just gonna do this because I'm a lazy, lazy guy. Copy that over. And since we're doing the same sort of function, I'm just gonna remove all of these. And where the symbol, huh, it's gonna be a little different, sorry. Where the sig equals. So what are we trying to get from here? We know the signal is that. We know it to sell. So where the symbol in the four hour DFSMA, this isn't what we need actually. The signal equals, we just need the last frame of the SMA. So what I'm gonna do here is I do have that. We have we have the signals, right? So now we just need to figure out what does the signal say? So I think the last signal, uh, current say, equals, this would be SMA for our dot I lock. And we want the negative, negative one, which is the last position. And then we put some weird formatting here. I believe it's F, SMA, SMA. And then the time frame. But we already know what this is, so we're gonna just say it's the SMA 15. Nah, let's do this better. No, let's do that. SMA is the 15. Oh, snap, I don't want the 15 SMA, I want the 20 SMA. And then time frame is four hour, like that. And let's just run this back and see if we can get current signal. Print F, this is the current signal. And we'll call that current signal. And then let's see what this, this tells us. So we're just finding the trend on the four hour. I know it visually, but the thing is, is my bot's not gonna know it 24 seven unless I tell it. Okay, that's not right. <clears throat> oh, because I put in the SMA, silly guy. Yeah? What I want really is negative one signal. So this is what I want right there. 
Gotta spell it right. All right, so the signal is out. So now we know the trend. So we now know the trend. If sig equals sell, bearish. If sig equals buy, bullish. All right, so we know the signal. Let's go ahead and say, no, we don't need to do anything else here. I was gonna do like an if statement, bullish, bearish, but who cares? We just say, say uh, current sig equals sell or buy. Perfect. And if it equals sell, then we'll do this bot. If it equals buy, then we might not do this bot. So 